Hi everybody, my name is Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Thanks very much for tuning in. Um, all right, so uh, yesterday I had a power outage again. Um, uh, it's been very stormy here in the Northwest. A lot of people have lost their power. About 30,000 people are still without power here. So I'm one of the lucky ones. Now we got our power back about 6 a.m., 7 a.m. this morning. So, but I wasn't able to catch a whole bunch of stuff yesterday on the DVR, barely anything, and then not a whole lot today either because I wasn't able to set my recordings for this morning. Not usually the night, you know, the night before I set recordings because it's a flowing thing, man. You got to be thinking on your feet all the time. So, I didn't catch a whole lot of stuff yesterday, and a lot of the stuff that I normally capture, to, uh, I I didn't capture today. So, but uh, and then tomorrow I have to go to the dentist. I told you guys a few days ago or a couple weeks ago that I I broke a tooth, and uh, or I, I popped a cavity, and then I went to the dentist, and he said the tooth is broken and it's going to have to have a crown and all this stuff. So, um. Uh, so, I, I wanted to point out something real quick, the quicker the better. I know you guys are busy. Um, I don't think it's fair to call what I do, you know, asking for my lunch, begging for my lunch. I don't think it's fair to call it begging in the sense that, you know, you guys that I'm, that, <sighs> that you would think of as a normal beggar. Okay, because a normal beggar is a person who's standing on the side on a street corner, on a busy street corner with a sign that says anything helps, veteran needs your help or whatever it is, and I'm not putting those people down in any way. Uh, what I'm saying is, I completely understand why you don't like begging. I completely understand why it bothers you. It bothers me too. I hate that I have to beg. I I should have 750,000 subscribers and, you know, put up Mox News Survive solely on your donations once a month and get plenty to survive because that's all I'm looking for is trying to survive so that I can keep doing the job that I do for you guys that you said over and over again, never let them make you stop. And again, I don't think it's fair to call it begging, even though I call it begging because to me it, it's something on a higher lay on higher plane that I'm doing. And and it's it's you guys that give it value. It's you guys that make it worthy. I've told you this over and over again. And it's you guys that uh, assess that set the value of this of what I'm doing. You know, I can't put a I can't put a price on it. I, I to me it's priceless. I've all the people that I've touched and and helped find little bits of knowledge that they were seeking, you know, or, or something they weren't even looking for and they're like, holy shit. You know, that's beyond value to me. I don't know how to put a price on it. You know, if if YouTube hadn't taken down 50,000 of the videos that I posted, probably closer to 60,000 of the videos that I posted, you know, I would be this living legend across the internet. 60,000 videos, half a billion views. Yeah, what do you need? Let us help to keep you going. You know, and here's the deal. You know, I mean... I get it. I get, like I said, you know, I can't watch a South Park episode without s seeing a Starvin' Marvin cart, uh, commercial, you know? I mean, and it, it's like you're laughing, you're like, all right, man, this is great, you know? And then there's this starving kid in front of you. But they're saying, if you don't give us money, this kid's going to die. This puppy, this poor puppy is going to, what does that do to kids? It's so unfair. I get why you hate begging. And beyond that, you go out on the internet and, and, it's, and it's, oh, my children have cancer and they're going to die if you don't give me money. Or my mom died and I need help with funeral expenses. Okay, my mom died. I came out here a couple months ago and told you my mom was sick. She had brain tumors. 
and and I didn't ask you for money to go visit my mom. You know, I didn't ask you for money to help out with my mom's funeral. I didn't ask you for money to go to the dentist to help out with this exorbitant fucking bill for a crown on the tooth. I ask you for my lunch, okay? I ask for my lunch. That's what I ask for. I don't see how that is out of line in any way. I don't see how that's even remotely unreasonable. Okay? I'm not asking you to help me pay my cell phone. I'm not helping you to, asking you to help me make my house payment. Asking for lunch. That's it. You know, Huffington Post comes out here a couple times a year and they do big fundraisers. You know, PBS, PBS, you know, they get, Huffington Post gets millions in advertising and they say, oh, we need you guys to fund this. They don't need you to fund shit. Who else? Raw Story, Crooks and Liars, they all, they're like, oh, we need your money. No, they don't. They're getting millions in advertising. Okay, PBS, millions and millions and millions of dollars in grants. Oh, but we can't survive without your money. I'm not doing any advertising. I don't. I never have. I think it's, I think it's part of what's wrong with the world is advertising and consumerism. I think advertising focused towards children should be illegal. That's how wrong it is. I can't believe you let people advertise to your children. That is just sick. That is a sign of a sick society. I come out and I ask for my lunch. It'd be really nice if one of you guys could buy me lunch. Tomorrow I have to go to the dentist to get a crown. It'd be really nice if one of you guys would buy me lunch. Saturday, March 19th, is my birthday. My first birthday without my mom. And, you know, mom always let me know that <clears throat> somebody thought that day was a special day. <sighs> For some reason, I don't understand. But, uh, I'm going to miss that. It would be nice if somebody bought me lunch. Because I'll be back tomorrow after I go to the dentist. Get drilled on. I'll be back here. I'll be reporting the news. Just like I did the day my mom died. Okay? It was the Iowa caucus the day my mom died. I came out and posted 20 videos all the speeches. I did my job. And and still it's like not good enough for you guys to want to buy me lunch. Okay? Still it's too much for me to ask for you guys to buy me lunch. Is that right? It's my birthday on March 19th. It'd be really nice if somebody bought me lunch. You want to hear my epic birthday party plan? I would really like to go to my favorite teriyaki restaurant. Get a plate of teriyaki chicken and rice. Where I haven't been for like eight months because I can't afford it. Okay. And I'll say... Like twenty five percent of it to share with my dog. It's not even my dog; it's my roommate's dog. Because I promised him I would always share good things with him if he didn't die, and he didn't, and I always do. Because I don't have to ask God for help to be the person my dog thinks I am. My roommate's dog thinks I am. I am his friend, and will always be his friend if I have any choice or any say in the matter. <sighs> Sorry. I don't mean to be a dick. I just... I need help. If you guys 
see value in this. You know, these people who want help because their mom died and they need help with the funeral expenses or because their kids are sick and they and they need help with the the hospital bills, you know. They're not giving anything to you. The person with the sign that says anything will help. They're not there every day saying, hey, here's something for you. Hey, here's something for you. Hey, here. I don't think that you can call what I do begging. I think it's just pointing out that it would be nice if someone bought me lunch. I don't think it's begging. I think it's something very different from begging. All right, so uh, I gotta go to the dentist tomorrow. I'll be back by 4 p.m. at the latest. Uh, I gotta go get some sleep because it's really hard. I gotta get up early. It's like an hour and a half bus ride to the dentist and back. Well, to the dentist each way. Each way is like an hour and a half. So, but I'll be back by four. I'll be in position to give you all the election night results. So, because tomorrow could be the end of the Republican run, you know. Hillary is going to fight it out until the end. Um, and hopefully Bernie will fight it out until the end, too. Uh, but these other guys are going to fall by the wayside. If Donald Trump wins Ohio and Florida, it's over. Bye-bye, Teddy. Lion Ted. Bye-bye, Lion Ted. Bye-bye, little Marco. And the other guy, whoever he is. Um, so, expect me tomorrow about, uh, you know, in the afternoon. All right? Um, thanks for all of you guys' continued support. It's because of you that I've been able to stick around for 10 years. And, um, and I understand. I wish I didn't have to ask for help either. I wish I didn't have to. But if I don't, I don't get any. If I don't get any help, Mox News doesn't survive. Okay? It's that simple. So I have to ask. But I thank you for your time. I thank you all for your support. I thank you for making the last 10 years very, very, yeah, to me, it's a very, very worthwhile thing that we've done here. So I thank you very much for that. There's nothing more you could ask for than something worthwhile to do with your time. So stay cool. One of these days, this war is going to end. Till that day. Compassion stirred the Buddha to send his monks out into the community. Sworn to chastity and poverty, they wandered the roads, bringing the Buddha's teachings into the world. Go forth, monks, for the happiness of the many, out of compassion for the world. There are beings whose eyes have little dust on them, who will perish if they do not hear the teaching. But if they hear the teaching, they will gain liberation. The monks exist by begging. We think of begging as kind of a bad thing. Begging in this tradition is a good thing. It's a sign of spiritual purity. You're not allowed to beg tomorrow's lunch today. Only today's lunch. Then you can't eat from noon until dawn the next day. Then you have to go out and get another lunch. And then in exchange for lunch, you give a lecture. Unless they say, we don't want to hear about it, then you don't. But that's the only thing you, but that forces you to interact with the lay community. And if you're not serving them, if you're not doing something useful for them, they won't put anything in your bowl and that will be the end of your community.